The vast majority of us right now are indeed dry here at 1115. A couple of showers right say towards Grayson County. Outside of that, it is all quiet here locally. I do want to expand this picture for you and show you what's going on in areas to the south and the west of us and really extending from just north of Atlanta all the way west towards Arkansas. That's where we are dealing with some pretty nasty weather still even at this hour. Little Rock right now dealing with some strong thunderstorms. This is all due to the remnant moisture from what was Hurricane Barrel. Barrel continues to weaken. It is a tropical depression with winds of about 35 miles per hour. Will soon just turn into a remnant low as it moves north northeast at 17 miles per hour. Will likely go through St. Louis, close to Chicago, through Toledo, Detroit, and then eventually into Canada. So the actual path keeps us seeing to the north and also to the west of the Commonwealth. However, there might be a couple of impulses of energy that come off of it mid to late week that allow us to have some unsettled weather here locally in the form of some scattered showers and thunderstorms. You need to know, though, for the rest of tonight, outside of those few showers, say towards Grayson County, tonight looks pretty quiet. We're going to have some fog developing, and tomorrow looks to start out dry with a mix of sun and clouds. However, by about 1, 2 o'clock, we're going to start to see these little popcorn thunder showers developing. Those popcorn thunder showers become perhaps a little more numerous as we get closer to dinner time tomorrow, and then those showers and thunderstorms will start to dissipate when the sun goes down on Tuesday, such that by about 10, 11, midnight tomorrow, Tomorrow evening, we should be for the most part dry. Kind of a rinse and repeat day for Wednesday. Wednesday may have a little more cloud cover than Tuesday. We'll call it variably cloudy on hump day. In the morning, we're dry. But as we go beyond about noon, 1 o'clock on Wednesday, better chances for more scattered showers and thunderstorms will form. And the storms on Wednesday could pack a little bit more of a punch for us, bringing us a little bit more in the way of some wind, heavy rain, thunder, and lightning. Now, the overall setup for us on Tuesday is uh, such that we've got a high pressure system of Bermuda High situated offshore. Moisture flow around this high will aid in rainfall, not only for us here locally tomorrow. So again, hit or miss thunder showers will be possible not only for us here locally, but across the Commonwealth and points south. As a matter of fact, I think this uh, onshore flow is going to actually bring a better chance for rain and thunderstorms, tropical rain and thunderstorms towards the Carolinas and also into Georgia. 1117 and it's 75 in Hot Springs, still 82 in Roanoke, 79 in Lynchburg, 79 in Danville, 78 Blacksburg, 75 in Pulaski, 71 in Hillsville and Galax. <laughs> Look at tomorrow, friends. 97 on Tuesday, lower 90s Wednesday, Thursday. Whoa, break out the coats on Friday, 86. <laughs> Kidding, but we're right, climbing right back up in the lower 90s on Saturday, middle 90s return on Sunday and Monday. So a little reprieve from the heat here on Friday, only to really warm things back up again this weekend. Oh, and by the way, the humidity, it ain't going anywhere. It's going to stay quite muggy for us here for at least the next four to five days. Tonight, anytime you have those lows in the low to mid 70s, you know it's going to be sticky out there. 73 for your low tonight with some scattered clouds, maybe even a little bit of fog. For the day tomorrow, anywhere from about 93 to 97 degrees. Hazy, hot, and humid with those hit or miss thunder showers developing after about 1, 2 o'clock. The reason for the Weather Authority alert day tomorrow is not because of the thunderstorm chances. It's only about a 30 to 40 percent chance, but rather because of the heat and humidity around, allowing for heat index, and heat index values or feel like temperatures to feel over 100. 102, 103 degrees into our easternmost counties. I think the best chances for beneficial rain for us here for the next seven days will lie on Wednesday and then again on Friday. This weekend, only a couple thunder showers here or there.